Hi, my name is Pentomi and, and I'm going to show you how to make this wavy ripple water in Lightwave. Uh, I'm go going to Modeller and I need to make these polygons. I take this away so you can see how I even done that. I go to create boxes and dragging to get some uh, rectangle. I'm pressing N on my keyboard to uh, bring up the numeric panels and I'm starting to tell in how big this is going to be. 150 times 100 meters in this tutorial. I need a few segments so on X I added 10 segments and C I'm sorry on X I'm taking 15 and C I'm taking 10 just to make the segment square you don't have to actually square but it's nice to have something nearly square the next thing I need to do is to sub patch this and I'm zooming in so you can see little bit what happened. I press tab on my keyboard to support it and you see a round little corner there. I press Q to change surface to ocean just for simplicity and now it's just to save it. As you see I made many ocean to make this tutorial. The next thing is to send the objects over to layout So here is my object. So I'm trying to get rid of this light, so it's not disturbing. So I'm selecting this object, and as you can see, nothing special is happened here. Um, the first thing to do is just P for object property, and under deform, I'm going to add a displacement map. You can do this in node editor also if you prefer but I don't see any advantage to do so so I just doing it here. Otherwise uh, node editor is a fantastic thing to work with. <coughs> displacement map is uh, making me able to change the height or uh, the places of the pixel depending on an image or a uh, texture. In this time I'm going to use procedural texture and you can already see that it's starting to, to change here. <coughs> Excuse me. The scale in this time is chain have a change to five hundredths and to get a little more height I changing the layer opacity to 500 and you can see some small ripples here um, and for now I'm going to leave this like this and go back to my camera change the position a little bit um, I'm going to surface editor if I can find it here someplace and I'm here uh, choosing the ocean. The ocean is not difficult to set up. Um, you need reflection and specularity and glossiness. And the diffusion may be turned off off after a while. But as you can see here nothing yes and smoothing is is turning on. But the, the ocean don't look like ocean because there is nothing to to reflect and the reflection is <laughs> nearly everything you see in the ocean. So 
I'm going to go to Windows and Backdrops and you have a few uh, things, you can use uh, ingredient here but I'm going to go to, um, sorry, to Skytrace and uh, get some clouds, set the uh, time of on the day to 10 o'clock. When I now go into BPR, you are here seeing my my scene for the first time. You are seeing some ripple here. We are going to do a lot more ripples. Uh, you can, of course, playing around with the transparency if you are using this and a few other things. And coming back to surface editor in a while. But for now I'm going back to uh, my object property and displacement map. And here you can see the effect on, on this uh, thing. Um, the next thing to do is make this um, uh, I'll make an animation of this wave. As you can see, when I scrub the timeline here, nothing is happening at all. And one way to do this is on the position here, I'm going to uh, press E. And this window is very large on another screen, so I try to make it fit here. Uh, and in my X position here, I'm going to add an, um, uh, an key. I'm right dragging over the key and say the frame is 10 and here I need maybe say uh, 50 meters. And the animation is obviously not going to be just 10 frames, so I just uh, make pre-behavior linear and post-behavior linear. Then I don't have to think about how big this animation, how many frames this animation is going to be. And now if I scrub the timeline, you can see that the water is waving. But we have a few problems. I'm going to turn down this uh, a little bit, 25 meters maybe. Feel a little bit better. Um, if I'm going to animate these things for now, you see that the water is moving. It's not waving, it's just moving about the surface. And one way to, to solve this is go back to my node editor and add another layer. I'm just copying this layer and paste here. As you see, the first thing is that now my, my ocean is much harder. But it's still it, it's the same thing happening all the time. So what I'm going to do here is on this layer press E and bring up my graph editor and now I can take this, I right click to select both, I offset, sorry, I offset them a little bit in time and I'm also making this go a little bit slower and this is making the uh, uh, animation a lot more um, believable. If I now scrap the timeline, you will see that the ocean is changing a little bit. I'm going to take down this uh, opacity so you can see 
and more smooth motion. I even going to add a third layer here. Oh, sorry. Um, in this um, other uh, layer, I going to scale and make the scale half the size. So the wave is uh, difference wave is is going different uh, speed and, and make the and the illusion of not the wave is moving but it's actually more waving in different uh, direction and so and in the last uh, layer I'm using uh, 10 meters and here also I'm going on the opacity to maybe 200 and on the position here I'm going to graph editor and uh, I'm also here changing the I'm sorry the speed and I'm changing the offset also so I don't have a, a an strange mirror effect while the, the texture is repeating itself so when I now scrap the surface, you can see, I can play the animation. You can see that some wave is coming, some is going, and they are cancel each other out. And yeah, they are behaving much like you will see in uh, the nature. Of course, you can elaborate with this how many, which direction. I would only uh, use X. Uh, direction uh, you can use difference um, speed and, and direction and scale and whatever you want <coughs> sorry so I'm closing this uh, for now <coughs> and I'm going to move my camera a little bit more on the scene and you can see how this look like when I render it I'm going back to surface editor and see if I can change this. Maybe the color. So it's look more like water. You can of course change this diffusion. If you think this is more natural, it's uh, more right if you see that from the nature's side but because I don't have any um, transparency here I like to to fake this by diffusion a little bit <coughs> uh, this is a very nice water not any wind and the wind don't actually need to be in uh, in the, the mesh but it can be uh, so if you want you can go to bump in the surface editor and add some uh, procedural texture or you can actually paste the same uh, thing you did in um, in this placement map but changing the scale here to maybe one meter taking down the opacity so, so now you have some small uh, bumps to give the illusion of small waves but at the same time this is not making by uh, pixel by uh, polygons it's just bump faking uh, if I go to position here I need to change the speed of this ripple otherwise it's going to look where it's changed so what I'm going to do is select my uh, tenth frame and change this to maybe one meter it's not very much to, to make of course you can blend several maps here 
so I'm copying this layer and pasting another and again I'm going back to the C and selecting all this and just move it a little off so you don't see the, the same uh, texture twice and also changing this to a little bit of the speed so it's not repeating itself either so now it's just to uh, place the camera so you can see this and the next thing is to render and then it's uh, going to render a little bit you see every time I do this I'm uh, changed it's changing the look now it's more like you're seeing a big ocean from a vast height but you can change this to look more like you are very near small waves depending on your work yes I think it's for now if you have any question or uh, comments please tell me and especially if you have some ideas of how to make this better welcome to uh, to tell me what what you uh, suggest so uh, thank you for now and uh, like and subscribe if you